Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for these hairstyles, I'm starting off with my hair blown out straight and I already have a heat protectant in my hair from when I blow dried it earlier. So I'm just suctioning my hair and going right into curling it with a flat iron. If you've never curled your hair with a flat iron before, it's super easy. I do recommend getting one with more narrow plates and with more rounded edges because it's a lot easier to curl with. The one I'm using here is the Babyliss Pro, and as you can see, I'm just clamping the iron down and then twisting it away from my face in a downward motion. This is definitely one of those things that can feel a little awkward to do at first, but I promise it gets easier the more you practice. And by the way, I just feel like I have to mention this, but make sure you always use a good heat protectant before you use any hot tools on your hair. I'll list a few of my favorites in the description, so go check that out. So once I've curled my entire head, I like to set it with a lightweight hairspray. The one I'm using is the Paul Mitchell Invisible Wear Undone Texture Hairspray. I love it because it adds nice texture to my hair without making it feel crunchy or sticky. Then once my hair is completely cool, I comb it out with a wide tooth comb. You can also use your fingers, but the key is to wait for the curls to cool first and don't use anything with really fine teeth or bristles because the curls can fall flat or get really frizzy and poofy. After that, if I feel like my hair is too curly, I'll quickly run the flat iron over it to soften them more and give them more of like that loose beachy wave that I'm looking for. Lastly, I spray some of the Paul Mitchell Pump Me Up powder at my roots for some extra volume and just kind of scrunch up my hair with my fingers. A dry shampoo would work for this step too. So that is hairstyle number one, my everyday loose waves. Sometimes I wear it down in the middle, sometimes I do a side part, and if I'm really feeling fancy, I'll add some clips. These ones are from a pack I got on Amazon. I'll link them in the description if you're interested. Moving right into the next style, this one is ridiculously easy. I just pull it back into a low bun, but I like to pull out a lot of pieces to give it a more messy, effortless look. And I like already having my hair wavy before doing this because I just feel like that makes all the difference. The next one is another simple style, but it's one that I do extremely often. So with my thumbs, I just follow the tail of my eyebrows and I pull it up into a little top knot. The key is to keep it kind of loose and messy. This scrunchie actually that I'm using is also from Amazon. So again, I will link that in the description. And sometimes when I do this style, I like to pull a couple pieces down in the front. Next, I'm going to braid my hair. So to make it easier for myself, I tie half of my hair out of the way first, and I start doing a three strand under braid or a Dutch braid. It's the same idea as a French braid, except that it's inverted. So instead of going over the middle piece each time, you're going under, and that's what makes the braid appear to be sitting on top of your head. If you don't know how to Dutch braid, I will link a tutorial in the description for you that will break it down more. But basically, you're taking the rightmost strand, pulling it under the middle strand, grabbing the leftmost strand, pulling it under the middle strand, and then adding hair to each side as you work along. It's hard to verbally explain, so like I said, check out the tutorial in the description. So once I have my two braids finished, I tie them off with a rubber band and I gently pull up them to make them look fuller and less tight. 
Again, I'm all about more messy, effortless looking hairstyles. Then I twist the ends together and I bobby pin them so they look connected. I really didn't do the best job here because I was going to just take it out two seconds later, but normally I would hide the rubber bands better and make it look a little bit nicer, but you get the idea. And again, with this style, I sometimes like to pull some pieces out around my face to make it look less perfect. And the final style is just a combination of the previous two. I do the same Dutch braids, but instead of going all the way down my head, I stop halfway and pull the braids up into a top knot. So those are all of my most worn hairstyles. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.